All right, but hold on. Get ready for this review. It's going to be lit. Hold up. All right. This right here. See, I quit drinking sodas, but for the most part. Warheads, sour, watermelon. Bom, bom, bom. Hold on. So, yeah, we're going to take this. And I'm gonna make this guy go over here. Yeah, so, yep, here we are at the Warheads. Sour Watermelon Soda. It says, My flavor packed so. My flavor pack sour soda will blow your mind and taste buds away. Now, it says it's 150 calories, 0 grams of fat, 10 milligrams of sodium, 36 grams of carbohydrates, 35 grams of sugar, includes 35 added grams of sugar. I'm not saying you should drink warheads or candy sodas or anything i've stopped drinking sodas for the most part i pretty much only drink tea uh drink or i pretty much just make tea here and i drink tea water and i drink my milk my fair life milk because that's it's lactose it's uh lactose free so if you have problems with lactose then you can drink fair life milk and it's really good but it's not about fair life milk today. It's about it's about um Warheads sour watermelon soda. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about that dearie? I think she thinks that's cool. I don't know, I can't hear what she says ever. I just kinda make that part up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here it is. Tastes like candy. Um, I had the ghost ones. Those are good. This is good. I mean, but it's soda. Got the carbonation. A little sour. Don't think it's as sour as the candy I remember. Um, we didn't get a whole lot of stuff growing up, but one thing. I remember my mom did get us a treat. One treat my mom got us was she'd go to the Sam's Club and she would get bu this big bucket of Warheads candy. Probably like that, that big a tub. Warheads candy. It had all the flavors in it. We just stuffed that in our mouths. I mean, it was so good. Um, but yeah, this isn't... isn't a bad taste I mean I don't like I said I don't care for soda I like the ghost energy stuff though because it doesn't have what soda has in it and all the other energy stuff in it um, you can go look at Matt Pat's video on the food theory and look at his thoughts on the ghost energy and everything and um, it doesn't even have sugar in it not not like a fake sugar either it's just a it's just a bunch of stuff that's good for you um, somebody stop him. <laughs> yeah, since I don't drink sodas very much, it may hurt my tummy. Um, but as I drink it, it 
may not have the greatest aftertaste. But, I mean, like I said, and it contains 0% juice. That's, if that means anything to anybody. How much caffeine is in it, you ask? That's a great question. Not sure that there's any caffeine. In it. Oh, it has the infamous red, nut, red dye, 40. So it's those ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, malic acid, natural flavors, preservatives, potassium, sorbate, sodium, benzate, and red 40. So it looks like there is no caffeine in it. I'm not seeing any number for caffeine. And it doesn't say it contains caffeine anywhere. So it must, it's like your, your crush sodas or whatever. Your lemon lime sodas, your whatever they are, you know. It's that kind of thing. It don't have any caffeine in it, so you're not going to get, get that. A little mind alteration. Um, but... It's not as bad as some red pops that just taste straight out like red soda, red drink, red coke, whatever you want to call it, red sugar water, um, where it tastes like a medicine. Um, but it does have that a little bit after a while, so it's not like the greatest. It's not a. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but. If you want to get your friend something stupid and be like, here, I got you this stupid thing. Like, I know you wanted something good and tasty. That you could just drink regular, you know, and be satiated. But here's this weird thing that you're going to need some, ag some normal drink. So now I'm going to do a review of my tea. <laughs> And look, my tea is good. It's a nice, well, you can't see through the cup, and I'm not going to go get the, well, you know what? Hold on, I am. So my tea, I use the Lipton tea. I don't really, whatever black tea you want to use, whatever. But that's the tea. So you can see it's got, it's a nice dark color. It's not really see-through. You know, some water, boil it, get it boiled, turn it off, put the tea bags in there. I accidentally waited till it got too cool, but it's it's all right. I I mix it. You know, basically it's half water. I mean, you put the same amount of water after that. I say eight tea bags, yeah, and some sugar. It's pretty good. Three quarters of a gallon, I think, is what it ends up to be. So divide the three quarters and a half. And, um, yeah, that'll be that. Three, yeah. Um, the tea and then half of that water. So mix it up with some sugar. Whatever your preference is. Don't just pour a whole bunch into it, right? Taste and stir it up and and then taste it. But mine, this is pretty good. It's not light. It's not too heavy. It's not too thick. It's not anything. It's just good. It's just all right. But now that we have that, I do actually want to play some Sonic Spinball.